Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Lotus Fire Show. My name is Pyrus Manabers, and we are live for the last time this week with, uh, you're seeing Final Fantasy XIV, but truly the important part is this little game here that, uh, whoopsie, it seems to have turned itself off due to, my, due to my idle status. That's my bad. We're playing Game of Empires as we are sponsored uh, by it today. We haven't been back since uh, last since the last time I streamed it, so that was Monday. Uh, I don't know where anything is. Let's see if we can get ourselves back. I don't know why it's scrolling endlessly. There we go. We are currently in the Iron Age. Our goal is to get to the Feudal Age today. Oh, so long as the game keeps itself alive, I don't know what's happening here. So, hold up. Okay, yes. That's what we want. It's being a little slow. That's fine. Yeah, so I know <laughs> for a fact... Sorry, I'm playing with my teeth. Uh, that we're going to need a... Um, So let's ignore Final Fantasy for now. We're gonna need what we might call in the business. Oh, I need a pay token for it. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna need uh, a lot of resources because that's just how it be, right? Mm -hmm. I keep on pay. Right, everything's working a little slow here. I'm hoping this doesn't mean that everything is actually slow. That's good. I've been in this alliance. I'm the one who created it, and I'm definitely the one who has contributed the least. stuff so we can start working on our tech stuff. Uh, no, I don't want to do that, actually. Send me back home. Mm. Currently, we're at 12,000 out of 20,000. Let's work on going that. The route of making that better. Ah. Now, I think it's safe to say we're not going to let that happen at three hours. Especially since we got some of these. Um, boop. Oh, I got more. Boop. 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 See? Problem solved. So, what do we got here? Mm-hmm. I just want to get rid of all these notifications. Dear God, there's a lot. So many of them. Fair enough. We have plenty of buildy bits. We can only build one buildy bit at a time. It's not a gift pack if I have to pay for it, dude. Mm -hmm. Easy enough. Oh, it's not the right button. I think that means that I'm out of, like, crappable uh, people to do so, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, that was not the right thing I wanted to do. Hello? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yes, there we go. Very hidden. Okay. Mm hmm. Thanks much. That's a bunch of stuff I can't afford. Oh, no, that's not true. This is the quest. Okay, so. Boop. Actually, if we're lucky, we might actually have just gotten a bunch of stuff for free because it's been a while. There we go. 
Come on, please lean in. Really? Already? Wow. Oh, you have to pay for that, so no. Seven hours to craft that? Yikes. Quests. Plan. Plan. No? Yes, good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, what is happening? Was not fun. Cool. Don't want to see that again. You said I completed it? We good. None of this happened when I was doing the phone stuff. I frankly, I don't care. Good that it didn't just randomly, like, disappear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Get that guy to go then. Stop bugging me. Four hours. Jeez Louise. We are going to be speeding our way there because, like, hours of this stuff is just bad. Uh, I can easily let 10 minutes go by, though. That's fine. Got a bunch of stuff to use. This is the man we want. Good. The West Pompey. There we go. And we'll just keep buffing him. Kooky, he leveled up all of two times. Really cool. Oh, what? I'm not even a VIP. What are they on about? Free boss party? Somebody explain that to me. Hmm. Get that out of the way right there. Very nice. Okay, what did we do? Nothing that I would consider useful. We're just clearing notifications. That's not really doing anything. This game could take, like, keep you hooked for no reason other than there's just notifications you need to get rid of. Pretty neat, I guess. I think that means that it's time to move on and wait for that to get done so we can do a little bit of leveling. 
If the roulette pops normally, that'd be great. We also have events to do, so we could go. Actually, Lopper's are not within my purview, but I could zoop on to the zenith and immediately do some of the key strides there. So that way we can like kill time, you know. We do have to do the Moogle quest. I haven't been on this game for like two days. Which feels like a lot to me, honestly. Well, I thought I told you. Weave it. I didn't, apparently. Good. Well, there you go. See, all you have to do is switch classes once and immediately the game gets upset and kills you. We be polite. We say hello. Ah, uh, yeah, brave blocks. Okay. I feel like we did this last time too. Mhm. Mm okay. I'm not one of those boring tanks who doesn't move. I'm one of the cool tanks who pushes wall to wall. Not really cool to wall, but. Alright, hold up. No, the hill's good. We're good. Oh, this is exciting because my stomach hurts. That is where we need to go. <laughs> and they decided to go on without me. Hanky? I don't, I don't like not having my AOE combo, to be honest. Mainly because it means I can't get um, Maelstrom's whatever it is, which is our damage booster move. The first boss of this dungeon really comes quickly. Although to be fair, we know there are th there's more than three. There's like three and a half bosses in this dungeon. Yes, I am indeed taking hits. Uh, I need more focus than I was last time we did this because I was not focused and I messed up a lot last last time, Monday. I wasn't a fan of that. I mean, I can understand calling them pelicans, right? It has a throat beak thing going on, I guess. That's what I'm gonna love about Hanky. Hanky's at level now. That's cute. Well, as long as Hanky doesn't prove to be a turd, we might as well give them the calm. I hope I will remember that. It's 
So Tiny Dragon's my new bit nervous because I have played through um, the Vigil, Stone Vigil, I think is the rough one. I could bring you further, but it's quite a walk. Moving on, James Wood. Yeah? I leave the Goblin Pathfinder alone. I, I think I missed, maybe? Another four hour research. Whoop, whoop. Talk to the. Yeah? I can't jump over that. Sad face. I don't know if Hanky, this is Hanky's first time. Hey, Liam. How you doing? How you doing, good? I am focused on two things at once. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, I won't be doing great on all on both of them, but uh, where's the Tempest for rest? Come here. They're gonna go after the goblin no matter what. Protect the goblin. Good so far. Very excited for tomorrow. Now, tomorrow is. Uh, it's Void's campaign. That's correct. Okay. So, good stuff. I'm kind of excited for Void's campaign. I like my character for that Ulysses. Uh, it's funny that Void can't can't pronounce it. Shadow or the Dragon King, fake fight. <laughs> it's actually um, Ombra of the Dread, uh, 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 Draconic. Matriarch, and I think that's the wrong one. Um, hold up. We are going through, yes, this way. Well, you know what, maybe Hanky doesn't get my, my calm because Hanky is currently not, um, not showing me that they are a, uh, a new one to this fight, and I like giving the new people. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Actually, Hanky can't be new to this because they need to have access to Heaven's Ward to be a machinist, and they are a machinist, and this is not a Heaven's Ward dungeon. In fact, this simply means that Hanky has been a machinist for a very short amount of time. Possibly two dungeons, because they just leveled up to 34. Noted. Let's not step in that. The darkness of the big lizard muppet. I think our choice of the word matriarch and mother for queen might be an issue, though, because inherently queens are not mothers. They usually do end up being mothers. Play this Wednesday to try my new character. Yes, that's the Feywild character. You're, um, you decided not to use the concept you were initially pitching, right? If I recall correctly. I'll take a dip in the swamp. We'll see Shrek generate black mana. I, I made a mana, um, an MTG joke to my boss today, and for the first time he did not get the reference, and it was so funny. That's the boss zone, huh? Yes. And that is the third boss. Wow. We are blitzing through this dungeon faster than I thought we were. Okay, someone is thirsty for damage. I guess it's because usually I attack first. I have trained them well. Good. I don't want to pop all my mitts on this. I'm going to play an Azorius Law Mage instead. Oh dear. Oh, no. But that's cool, though. You got the bubbles? Not yet. <coughs> Good. If we DPS it down fast enough, we don't have to deal with the bubbles. Never mind, there are bubbles. And they are on the LGBTQ... LGBTQ... LGBTQIA... 
plus, two plus spectrum. That's hype. Love it. How about you take a start for a second? Well, actually, uh, here comes uh, 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 by a track. Ayatar. I keep forgetting its name. Yeah, we get you down about half health. Not even. Quarter health and you just went out. Very cool, man. Ah, no one's a new one. I guess I'll give it to the DPS. I will give it to Hanky anyway. I actually don't want these. Thanks. If everyone's here and we're still alive, then I've got to win in casual mode. Uh-oh. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Uh, I'm very dead hand that I can such a fight. I'm scared from that. Good and pain to fight. Oh, you, you, you're so dedicated to the craft of law, law mageness that... Your character literally plane hopped. Hype. Possibly by accident. I can see that in Game of Empires we've got a. I see three, four monsters and only two of them are on my list. That's not good. Do not get Hanky killed. Oh, you gonna you gonna pitch my uh my sponsorship there uh stream elements no okay that's fine we do have a sponsorship it's game of empires as you can see on screen the small window under sigma's head that is now replaced by the sponsorship goals uh you can download the game by typing in exclamation point goe clicking the link there on your mobile device and getting to the feudal era to help me out the most uh, it's a uh, it's a decent real-time strategy game. Well, it's a fun real-time strategy game. Uh, it's very addictive. I can tell you that much. A uh, real-time strategy game. Uh, uh, empire um, building game as well, where you kind of build up your empire and you can go up through time. Uh, you get to choose of seven empires and just have a decent time, like leveling up your heroes. You can collect some of the emperors and warriors, train stuff. It's very similar to Land, Land of Empires uh, until you like reach. Uh, 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 but you you have a little more more cost customizability and uh, a little more freedom than Land of Empires, if I am to be honest. I don't think that's a bad thing inherently. So yeah, the thought process is that plane hopping in Ravnica is well known with plane hopping and all, so he has been sent by the Azorius to make it just. Yeah, I think that's a um, that's a solid thought process because uh, after after the guild pack itself became meshed with Jace, there's no way they don't know about planeswalkers. It also makes well, okay. They could if Jace was like, no, I'm not a planeswalker. I was born in Ravnica, I swear. Uh, but that wouldn't make sense. Since the face of the spider, of course. What I was also thinking is that, like, even if you did know, your character being dedicated to getting to plane hop is quite, quite dedicated, nonetheless. Hanky gets it. Although, as you said, if you see it as something that's important to the, uh, uh, did I GG? I did not GG. I did get a prayer, prayer bomb. If your character is more logic than, than emotion, then it makes sense that he'd be like, yeah, someone's gotta do it. I'm gonna do it. It's my job. What was that notification? His rebel sent to help dad and the characters in the rack back rack. Nice. Oh, Hanky killed it. Cool. Was it this? No, I got a message. 
I got an in-game message. That's weird. Uh, okay. Let's fix this first. As our focus is supposed to be this. I want tech speed up though. Okay. I know a lot so that the DM can do interesting stuff if he wants. I just hope my character melds with you well with your guys. Uh let's see, our characters are I have a Barbarian who had been kidnapped by the Fae prior. Uh that was interesting. Uh, realized during one of the later sessions last time that his temper had been stolen. And then we all died, so we got it back. No. We killed the thing that stole it, so he got it back. Uh, we have a totally not assassin character in Ada's who is a handmaiden to the queen. And probably in love with the prince. Also, a reincarnated fey deity or fey queen, the way I understood it. Without knowing. Hi, more prosperity. Very cool. Need more market. That's really easy. Boop. That's a lot. A lot of prosperity. <coughs> uh, Void's first character died. So he made... <coughs> Sorry. Choking. He made a character who was... Uh, always wears armor and is very helpful. All he wants to do is help. Doesn't really understand what's going on, I think. Who else was there? We had a Minotaur, but I think he dipped. I think that's it. That's all I remember. <coughs> There's like a piece of seed possibly stuck in the back of my throat and it's not pleasant, let me tell you something. We sing the song of courage. Oh, John's also playing a Lion Folk Warlock. Who's really um, reserved is the word I will use. And may or may not be manipulative. <laughs> John. Sorry, I um my phone died before I could put the uh the notifications into messenger. Everything else got through. Oh, not hive. Nice. You did finish the Magnus Archives. You mentioned that you were very close, so I'm not surprised you managed to do that with since the last time we spoke. It just means I should do the same. What chat up to what you up to in fifth uh, for now, leveling roulettes as a way of distracting myself from waiting for stuff to be built. Mm hmm. Something's weird about my counter. No worries. I will be there in two minutes as well. Uh, 
Um, the point I'm at in that is... Currently, there's that Lucas dude who's in charge of the archives. The young man who's hauling him. The main character's going all over the place. <laughs> okay, that answers a question. <laughs> they focus on the armor. Army? in the suggestion uh, of what you want to develop. <clears throat> I'm so sorry I keep doing that. That's how fast you can do it. Probably around halfway. Sounds about right. I will get myself some water. Thank you, John. Be right back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Answer your question, Liam. I think it's about three. I want to say three, uh, because three or four. That doesn't make sense. Hang on. They're they're planning on eliminating one, and and um, Mister. He just went underground to get Basira water. Quick. How are you doing, John? <laughs> I'm doing well. How are you? I don't know, you just mentioned quick in my chat, I'm scared. <laughs> if, you do the two, you, if you do two of symbols and put a W in it, it's space. It doesn't matter which two symbols you choose. Yeah, there's also, uh, Liam, there's a talk about, there's that story, the side story about like the dog that, that, that was chasing buses. That one made me really unsettled and I needed to take a break. <laughs> Alright, I will soon be doing a roulette if you want to join. That's just what I'm here for. I'm not in the early feudal age, so we gotta be... I find it weird. It says I've only got three people in early feudal age, but I know there's four people that have told me. Weird. Oh yeah, he, got, he did that, he did that. He took a bone out of his body and then he went to get her in the coffin. That sounds like not my type of story. At the same time, I would absolutely listen to it. There's like zero zero blood in the process, if I understood correctly. But I'm not sure. Well, that makes little to no biological sense. <laughs> it's not about the biological thing. Yeah, there's um, if I if I, I mean spoilers, I guess for the Magnus Archive season four. And three, and two, and one. I don't remember what time, what, what, which one the book shows up in. So there's a book, and that book, um, it, um, that sounds about right, actually, Liam. The book itself, there's a series of books, and the books contain, like, dark powers. If you read them, you can kind of use those powers, and one of the books allows you to rearrange or remove bones. From people. Uh, one of the characters uh, who kind of presents as a bad guy, but I don't think he counts as one. Jürgen Leitner, that's right. Uh, he he mo removes people's bones and he's kind of addicted to the process, so he keeps adding them to his own body. Hmm. 
which you know it's an audio mm-hmm. podcast, so you don't get to see what he looks like. But uh, I'm I'm told it's quite monstrous. I I'm not gonna like the visuals if I think about that too hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, yeah, new deep dungeon. New deep dungeon. That's right. You did mention that. Uh, no, it's not everybody mentioned that actually, not just you. <laughs> Uh, you pick it up in Nor- uh, the quest chain starts in Mordona. Oh, that sounds exciting. There we go, we're in the early village, lads. Yeah. What the fuck sound? Every time the character moves, you can hear char- bones creaking and cracking. That is correct. Uh, it's really unpleasant, and it's so freaking cool. <laughs> What's even cooler is, like, for the most part, the story is told through audio recordings on tape recorders. And um, throughout the first bit of the story, the stories, you only hear, like, you only hear the audio recordings when people actively turn them on. And I say it like that because at some point in the story, you end up realizing... Again, spoilers for Magnus Archive. You end up realizing that, like, some of the audio recordings, they don't know they've been turned on yet. So, like, people will find the recorder, the tape recorders, and be like, uh, why'd you turn that on? And the guy will be like, I don't think I did. Or, oops, sorry, I forgot to turn it off. They'll be like, oh, that that's normal, right? Right? And then later on, you realize that they just start turning themselves on. This kind of sounds like uh, that one card game you played on uh, during Indie Week. Uh, Inscription? Yes. I, they have similar themes, to be quite honest. What? We can't do level 50 dungeons? Dagon, why can't we do level 50 dungeons? Um? One of your party members does not meet the requirements of the city. Is it me? Am I a weaver and I don't know? No, I have an axe on my back. What is this? What in the what what? What in the butt? Nope. Following requirements not meant. They think I'm an expert. No, no they don't. Okay. Are you unable oh. to- Oh! You're good! What happened? I, I was done, Breaker. Oh, I'm a tank. <laughs> that makes sense. Yup. Well, actually, yeah, um... That's a point, Liam, because I just... In the episode where he goes into the coffin, uh... The guy who has a crush on him, as per the uh, suggestion of the fan base, uh, got him. I assume he got him out because he just, yeah, Martin. <laughs> there you go. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Martin, he put stacked tape recorders on the coffin, and that's sounds like that's what got him out. Because uh, Martin is best boy. Yeah. Uh, so Johnson's context. Uh, there's the, 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 the guy went into the coffin, which is like allegedly connected to a, I believe the name of the force is the, the buried, which is the primordial fear of being buried alive or underground. Uh, and he went to save somebody who was also captured by that, but he's like, well, if I go in, I won't be able to like get out. So his brainy bits told him, what if I removed a part of my body? and kept it outside, I'd have a connection and anchor to not inside the buried, right? So uh, that... Uh, uh, if, I mean, it would make sense if that's the full version. Who's stuck? Is there a... Nope, that's me. Oh, okay, cool. I'm like, I can't go without you. Oh, the fractal. I haven't done this one. Fractal? Yeah. 
very considerate. Yeah, so... Have you done the heart of this yet? I think I have. Um, then again, I thought I did Academia at Niter, and here we are. Oh, I kind of want to do that then, didn't I? Think. Fractal would only show up if someone actually tried to actually do it. And this is one of them story quests. Um... Nope, Fractal is an optional dungeon. Okay. I love getting optional dungeons. Let's go! Final Fantasy 13 enemies. I'm hyped. So yeah, in 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 he realizes that his bone apparently wasn't enough of a connection to the real world and he starts being scared uh -oh. that he's gonna I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Where are you? Why are they killing you? Ah oh, shh what? I don't have my stance on. I got it. <laughs> I'll be back. Uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bank on uh not dying. Let's go. No, I have equilibrium, thank god. It's that level. Uh um, 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 um. Yeah, this uh sixty done. Okay, okay, we're good. Um I think I can kill this guy. But yeah, that happens if you don't have your stance on it and I use the size. <laughs> Because it's both damaging and healing and AoE. <laughs> so so it hits everyone within range. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Where is my cat face? Right, so 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 this this Monstrous this guy goes in he's like I'm gonna save her he finds her and he's like cool I found her now what and he tries to pull himself out and he's like wait I can't feel my anchor why isn't it working and he's like I guess my bones wasn't enough and then like after a an indeterminate amount of time he's like wait I feel a connection and he manages to pull them out and you learn like through a side conversation that has nothing to do with them that uh, one of his other employees started stacking tape recorders on 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 it instinctively like he had no idea why he's just like well he's stuck in the coffin and and um uh he likes tape recorders like they're connected somehow so i guess i'll start putting tape recorders on the coffin and like there's they never say outright yeah that's what got him out but at least not yet but you're like yeah i think that might be what got him out that sounds like such a cat thing to do <laughs> stack tape recorders I don't know. Just... It's the vibe? I need to help person. Let me do this weird, innocuous thing that should have absolutely no bearing on this repeatedly. Yup. Yup. They're like, why are there... Where's there... Like, he comes out of the coffin, he's like, why are there so many tape recorders on the ground? I'll attract the cat and just say, in general, cat. Oh, I was gonna say, what is this? And I remember... Oh, uh, I love this fake Robin. Uh, this is, this is, what's his name? Ravana? Yes, Ravana skeleton. They use it a few times, actually. Someone pointed out today on the people, I think, that the, um, the first boss of Vanaspati, I think, I think mm -hmm. you guys actually told me when we played, uh, is a skeleton head. Not a skeleton, an elephant head. But like, from the front, it just looks like a nasty cobra. I'm gonna start using my mitigation. How does that sound? Oh, but raw intuition gives me heal per hit. That's nice. I didn't know about that. I have, like, tank blood back. It's pretty bad. Don't be dumb. No, don't be like this. Internet, be good. You've been nice for most of the day. Continue. You bet. You're good for too long, Internet. 2023, probably. No. It, it's... Rogers has been having problems since that uh, blackout. 
Uh, the blackout that everyone was like, I can't believe you guys let this happen? Yeah. You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. Nice, good. There's some sitting in your house and I'm like, why are you dying? That's rude. <laughs> no. No death. Do, 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 I did do, not do, promise do. you to do that. Me when you say, can I please have muffin time? <laughs> me first, because I'm a tank. Oh, someone else is in here with me. Bagan's here. Bagan's got those cool face marks. Hello? I like my current uh, makeup. Yes. It looks nice. I was like, wow, every time I see it, I'm like, that's cool. I like changing it every now and then. One does this. I, I wanted to change my hairstyle, and I keep getting dissatisfied by every other hairstyle. That was me for the longest time, but I found a few hey, other hey, ones hey, hey, hey. What and my I don't have favorite my one. Sorry. I don't want to get you dead again because I don't have Volk on my dang bar. I also don't have Interject. Oh, I do. I can't reach you. Listen, you good brutal <laughs> wannabes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Trying to be Valifor out here. Go home. What did we say? I was like, why isn't anyone else interjecting? But we also don't have any ranged DPS, so I'm the only one with interject. Yep. Also known as I'm I would if I could. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, no, I probably wouldn't because I always forget to use that ability. Look at that! It's baby Ixels! <laughs> Yo! Primal Ixel. No, not Primal. That's not the word we use in this game. It would be. Roto Ixels? Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Uh, y yes. That is exactly the word you use in this game. <laughs> Like, as primal would be like, nah, it's a primal. No, that's not right. But, you know, we don't primalize you. But you fell cleavitized, how about that? Uh, the usage you mean for the word primal proto is his proper synonym. Yeah. And is used in other parts of this game in a similar fashion. Uh, proto ultimo? <laughs> yup. Exactly. I was sad the other day because we did um, uh, Belsar's Wall. I was like, I love Belsar's Wall because I get to get sloppy. So right before the final fight, naturally, I went, it's time to get sloppy. And I did not get a calm. Uh, I'm like, calm puns deserve calm. <laughs> right, how about... I didn't remember that raw intuition gives me heals before this dungeon, and I'm very happy that it does. Because that makes Warrior so much cooler to play. Oh, Warrior is like the healingest thing. Yeah, I know, that's what everyone kept telling me. I'm like, I only see the one spell. It's not the it's not just that one ability. It's it has like half of half a dozen abilities that in some way. Well, Equilibrium is a straight heal. Um, then there's the Thrill of Battle, which increases your max. Oh no. Uh, oh no. I didn't know if you didn't project that. Oh, I didn't actually. I didn't really. Oh, no, 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 no. But, yeah, so Thrill of Battle increases your max HP, which is a pseudo heal. Uh, raw Intuition gives you damage reduction as well as some heal back, which is really good. Ah, the Minotaur. I like that he paces before we come in. He doesn't just stand there. Yeah. Wait, is my victory animation different? Did I do a victory? I did do victory. That does not remind me of victory. No. What was that move? Let's go, Asterius, big boy. I don't know. 
I need a big boy. I want a big boy. Give me a big boy. Stop dying! Dude, I'm really trying. <laughs> what ability gives me free uh, arm's length? I forget which one it is. Arm's length? No, but there's like one that has arm's length that has a secondary effect. Arm's length? No, that's the first attack. Oh, hey. Okay, how about nobody die? What's going on? Stop attacking my healer. I'm the one who's targeted here. What are you doing, big guy? Yeah, do I have uh, that, that was not what I meant to do. Cool. I'm gonna do vengeance. You like to hit me? I'm gonna hit you back. Come on. I got oh, it. Oh, okay, cool. The mechanic is trigger when he walks, so he gets mad at something. Minotaurs don't eat meat. Except in the original myth. It's the human being. Except in the source material. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, apparently. <laughs> according to the school campaign, one minotaur eats uh, meat. Oh, no. This is gonna hurt. Why do you think I moved away? I didn't realize there was an AoE to be had. It's fine. I didn't realize you were that close to dead. My <laughs> apologies. It's all good. I could've- I, I was like, what are my healing abilities? And I did not use Equilibrium like a big brain boy. Roger. Wow, we, uh, we're good. We're good. Yeah! There we go. Zero deaths! Where's the thing? If an attack is if attack is not 100% accurate, it is 50% accurate. <laughs> uh, who's the final boss of this dungeon? It's not the Asians. Oh, we'll find out soon. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, it's the Curator? The curator. It's not something mm. right oh, Yes! Hello. The curator's the Sphinx, right? The, the really weird Sphinx, yeah. I, I don't like it. Final boss is two Minotaurs! Oh no. That'd be such a disappointing like, final boss. Right? I mean, it's the second version of the first boss required. The second boss required? That'd be, that'd be sad. It depends on how it's done. If it's just the same mechanics, then yeah. Oh, on the bright side, I don't think my... Uh, I don't think my... If they actually make it, like, a different fight. Well, it's like, in, like, an RPG, it makes sense that they would do, like, oh, this is the same monster, but twice, with different, like, interacting mechanics. Well, like, with the same mechanics, but they interact differently because there's two of them. That would make sense to me. But in this type of, like, game, where... Uh, where this is technically still an RPG, however, um, you'd be, you'd, like, the uniqueness of bosses is part of the charm. Uh, yeah, then it'd be, it'd be like, oh, kind of just shot yourself in the foot for this one. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of enemies here, and I'm, I'm not seeing all of them. It'd be you. You are the enemy that I'm not seeing. There are two of these leaders. I really wish I'd stop not seeing enemies, man. This is why I don't have comms. No, don't finish your combo, ninja, before moving out of the area. It's big enough that you can do the attack outside of the zone. Come on. These DPSs, I swear to them. I think I want to listen to some Magnus Archives tonight, but I also don't want to, like, die right on the way downstairs. I also need to grind an Octopath, since I got my butt kicked by the first phase of the final boss. <laughs> that means I have to do all eight bosses before it as well. I gain. Yeah. It is not a forgiving section. Yeah, I mean, I get it. It's allegedly considered part of the post game. Allegedly? Allegedly, yeah. 
I mean, okay, it's the true ending. Yeah. So it depends on whether you consider the true ending the actual ending of the game, or if it's most. Yeah, I would have said it's in the game. Do they spawn the interceptor drones? They do! That's why I'm not seeing them. They don't exist before the fight. Also, usually these shaped enemies don't actually matter. They don't use um, aggro as their targeting system. The yeah. Crimson. I totally wanted that black guy. I couldn't. Um, there's a cutscene, and then we have to make our way to the middle, correct? Which is this way? That's not pointed towards the next platform. There we go. Uh, it's because once you deactivate all the chains, uh, all of the jump points point inward. Yes, dude. Unauthorized personnel? How about unauthorized these nuts? <laughs> I know, that's my job. What? They be but they be stupid. Get rid of them. Oh no, they do that thing. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. They be stupid. Get rid of them. They make us. It makes it harder for us to. I have a bomb on me. What do I do about the bomb on me? Nothing. Let's do it's nothing. Good. I'm very happy I never did this dungeon as a healer. Hey, why don't you freaking stop this dungeon? The hero chemical is broken. Yeah, nice. Real cute. Oh no. Ball stack? Why are you giving me ball stack? that mine gonna do? It's a uh, knockback. I thought it would destroy the thing. Be kind of cool. Oh lord, um, he's, um, he's gone and died. Uh, okay. Uh, equilibrium then. I kind of send this. I wasn't paying attention. I'm talking way too much. I'm sorry. Time. It's alright. Maybe we'll do. I don't think so. He's got a bomb on. Uh, where's the rest of my ears? Um, oh, ball stack's gone though. Okay. No, I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Hold up. I have wrong shit. It is not enough. Uh, hold up. Okay, yes it is. It's fine. Stop dealing games though. I don't like it. Uh, okay. My intuition is no longer affecting Why did they do that? That was dumb. Do an LB? No, they're, 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 they're good. They're, never mind. Oh, lord. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> we took it down about 25% before we actually died. Ow. It's not normal that the uh, tank dies last, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, it can... It's more likely to happen when the uh, healer is dead. Yes. Yes, because the tank... Well, I mean, the tank's supposed to have all the aggro, so... Unless the other dudes aren't doing mechanics. Hey, where's everybody else? Biggins there? Yeah. I think they did what I did and took the shortcut, which takes you back to the second boss arena, which teleports you back to the starting of uh, the start of the dungeon. 
I saw <laughs> one of them do that. I can confirm. Um, I also did that. Yeah, if we die again, you literally just have to walk straight through. And that's the teleport to this area. Okay. That's sure. I don't want sure. There we go. Just letting the other guy run. I understand the desire to do a lot of DPS, but they're not going to do the DPS for balls. Unless we somehow manage to kill it before they cover the entire map in normal zone. Which quite, wouldn't happen. Quite literally, a no no square, if you will. Ah, don't touch me there. There's a bomb on my body. That was not. Oh, I don't need education. I'm a warrior. We don't need no education. It's funny that someone actually sang that in my, my intro my shit today. <laughs> and then I responded with, Did you know that in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, there was a Pink Floyd reference? And they said, I don't know what the words you just said are. sorts of debuffs. I hate it. Wrong tuition. I have home gang. I couldn't do that last time. Then it went behind the wacky end of the No, not push me into this. Oh, wrong stack. Yeah. Uh, what? Thinking our ninja might be not so great at doom mechanics. Just throwing that out. Okay, no, you know what? We're making that out of this a lot. The healer is, you know, paralyzed, and our tank has two bones stacked. I am doing the best I can. But we'll be good. I'm not saying it against you. I'm saying we're in trouble. But we survived. <laughs> GG, lads. Um, I'm giving it to the Reaper. Because Reaper. Reapers are cooler and they don't randomly die mid-fight. Right? Okay, and the ninja's going to blow up again. No? Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, who'd have guessed? <sighs> no commendations. What a wild, wild day. Yeah, this is good. Good. Why am I getting notified? You have mail. Oh, that's what's happening. Yes. Um, I wanted to take those, so I will go back to this little bar. Okay. <clears throat> oh, did you do the event yet? Uh, the little ladies thing. Yes. I have. Yes. It gives me the little fan okay. dance. It's very cute. Yeah. Much cute. Very dense. Uh. Perfect for Selena, if I'm not mistaken. Mm hmm? Was Selena, wasn't Selena a dancer? She was, yes. She's heavily based off of, um... Uh... Like, my... <laughs> my second fictional cru crush, which is Olivia from Fire Emblem Awakening. <laughs> Why am I here? I want to see the male person. The male person being... Right over there. Uh, who is a dancer who had crippling, not crippling, almost crippling, uh, shyness slash, no, it's stage fright. It was really just stage fright. It makes them very, very, it was an interesting, uh, uh, Awakening had some very interesting, um, tropes that they like to explore. Thank you for playing Final Fantasy XIV. Ah. Well, that's Oh, exciting. is this? 
Ah. No, what's okay. This? You recommended someone. I did, yes. Um. That's neat. That's a head thing. Right. The friendship circuit is useless to you. Oh no, it's not. It's friendship like... circuit can be used for crafting and gathering classes as well. Oh, I thought it was a glamour. That's... It can be, but it, its primary use is it's a headpiece that increases your XP uh, uh, under level 25. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I see. And it's useful because it's for all classes, not just battle classes. Yeah. I need to remember that. We're also supposed Except to with like... gathering and, and uh, crafting, it's... Well, at early levels, it doesn't really matter. Your stats on your uh, gear. Oh yeah, there's also just the fact that like you get a butt ton of like XP no matter what you do. Level one to twenty five is like quite fast. What's this? Yeah, they are dancing. I too would like to do this dance. Are we? This dance? Oh, dude, Rogadin sitting down saying "shake it, lady" to the dancers is kind of gross. Don't do that. All right. Well, uh, my two main roulettes that I always oh. do—they're done. Yeah. But you know what'd be cool? If we did Academia Nighter. I have to pay attention to this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh, what class do you want? I'm on Dragoon. Okay, good. Because <laughs> my tank is not level eighty. Mine is. Yeah. Academia yeah. Anider. I believe that's the one. So I did Anesis Anider, which I think is a. Uh... And then. Uh, wait. I was gonna say before you register, you should check your quest to make sure. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Oh, actually, you got booted because of the mobile quest. Right, hold up. No one ever does this quest. Yeah, Academia Niter. Yeah, because an Amnesis Niter is a story dungeon. Mm -hmm. I also have the uh, Stigma Dreamscape at level 90. That one's fun. And I have the variant dungeons that we can do if I wanted. Plus, yeah. While I donate some stuff from this game over here. Yes, thanks. Quiet, yes, quiet, yes, thank you, quiet, yes. Oh, I know what that song's from. Okay. <laughs> what? The song that I was stuck in my head just uh, now. Uh, the Happiest Millionaire. No, wait, no. Isn't that a... Isn't that a K-drama? Probably, but it's an old musical movie. Oh, so maybe not then. Achievements? Why would I? Oh, okay. Give it to me then, game. Don't just show me what I'm getting. Give me the dang thing. That's why I'm clicking on it. You are telling me I have something to claim. <laughs> There's so many notifications in these games, and, like, it's fine when you can clear them. It's annoying when you can't. Yeah. Like, I don't need a, a two minute every status update of you were not attacked. You were not attacked. You were not attacked. Thanks. I know. Oh, could it be that they want you to get to the feudal age using the quests on the side? That would maybe make sense. Maybe that's why the discrepancy is what it is. I have people telling me that they're they're up to the feudal age in um, on Game of Empires, right? Yep. But it's only registering three people at feudal age, and yet four people at Iron Age. So I'm like, well, so where's why is there one person telling me it, but the game doesn't think so? Is it a glitch? No, I think it's that they didn't do the chapter stuff. And if they want you to get to the early feudal age via the chapters as well as... It might be that the 
it's linked to the actual um, quest complete the feudal age. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so like the, the book there, the chapter 5 thing that says on my screen. Well, I mean, I guess you can't really see it. Yeah, so if that's the case, then then it makes sense. So whoever... I don't, have to, I don't want to like dig into it because I don't want to be that guy. Like, hey, why aren't you doing it then? Could I be the one then? Hmm. Are we the ones? Maybe. I don't know. Huh. I'll have to check. Oh well. There's two more days for this sponsorship, and then there's a. Oh, Void's gonna be over the moon. Oh dear. There's a mech one. <laughs> it's gonna offer another sponsorship, and it's a mech thing. Are you gonna do it? Uh, yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> it's free money, dude. And it pays for the streams. <laughs> It also makes its way into my tax reports, but... Okay, we are Reavers, so I can go to... Go back to Zenith and do those quests while we're waiting for this queue. Which may or may not take forever. Which is fine, because it just needs to take... You know, less than... F like, I just need to have stuff to do, you know? It's kind of stinky not to have duties to do, but... Duties stinky. <laughs> Alright, I need to get back on the dragon. Dexterous Dragonet. I'm very close to getting the final quests to the Moogle stuff. I'm like literally two days away, including today. Very, close. very nice. Then I'll have to move on to like Stormblood stuff. No, Heaven's Word has a gatherer quest. No. Then I'll have to move on to Stormblood. Stormblood has the Namazoo, which is both. Stormblood has three, so there's two battle ones and one that's both. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm missing. And then Shadowbringer is where they do one, one, and one. Yes. And. That uh, weirdly... Endwalker. But they also do one, one, one. In Endwalker. Because the third was just released. Then look what it's. Mm. Terrible Tremble Commission. Okay, wait, where am I going? There we go. Up north. Cool. In in Shadowbringers, I've only done the uh Eskies. That's loud. Why are you like this? Uh yes, the um the Pixies. Very lies. No, wait. Spook. Where are my settings <laughs> for this bleeding game? I know they're here somewhere. I don't want to get my eardrums blasted every time I do a quest. Common settings? I like the dragon names. The dragon names? Yeah. What do you Did you not see the name of one of the dragons? Uh, which one? Way off. <laughs> I didn't realize that was... W-E-I-A-U... A-H-U-F. Yeah, Or yeah. something like that. No, I see it. I just never put it together. Okay, now, there's gotta be a way to reduce the sound to zero. I don't know why I'm getting sound when there's no sound. There's no, there shouldn't be any sound, and yet I'm still getting notification sounds of the loudest variety. Uh, very unpleasant. Oh, cool. Disgusting. Disgusting. Some of you need to learn how to flush the toilet after you've taken a poop. His name is way off. Is that the one I'm riding right now? I think. 
I think. Okay, let's go all the way over there. So many resources I can't use. One of my coworkers plays this game and I'm kind of happy about it. Doesn't really talk all that much about it because he's like... He's more of a Magic the Gathering player. But you can do both by absolute means. The next quest for Ness would be King of the Blue Lands. Oh dear. That's a campaign quest? I know I didn't do that in on my phone. I feel like a lot of people didn't do that. I'm going crafting. I don't need this like super hardcore music. It doesn't make sense. Wait, start. Relax, Garuda. Final Fantasy XIV has a decent fan base on TikTok. It's quite interesting. <laughs> yes. I will not eat you, I just want to craft things for you. Can I repurpose construction components? Thank you. That's a regalia. I just turned all the sound down. How am I still getting the most obnoxious notifications in the world? Explain this to me. I'm going to lose my flip and schleit, 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 but I. Repurpose construction. Do I need it to be high quality? No, I don't. Good. I just need three. If you need more than one, you usually only need... I, I don't want to do this thing. I want this to be unsounded. Turned the sound down game. I don't know how many times I got to tell you, my friend. Cease and desist. Where are my settings? We have done this before. Can't like turn. Okay, um, I hate it when you have like sound settings that don't do all the sound settings. It's freaking annoying. It should be considered a sound effect. Okay, I want it muted. Thank you. That should be it. No, none of this. Don't make me turn all the stuff. Oh, did I not set the settings right? Actually, I want the notifications. They fought me for nothing. I'm not gonna play this game after this, to be honest. I know I'm not gonna be addicted to it, so. Oops, lady. Don't say those kind of things on the sponsorship stream, but it is too late. <laughs> what kind of things? I, 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 yeah, I didn't hear as far as I'm concerned, you were suddenly deafened for like the past 30 seconds. <laughs> Dang, a whole 30 seconds. <laughs> That's convenient. <laughs> well, actually, what I said was... <laughs> you <fool>. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to see if this game actually, like, listens to my settings, I guess. Why is that bandit looking so nice, though? Who gave you such... Who gave you permission to be such a hot? Looking like Achilles at the game. Would you actually want to be compared to Achilles? Yeah, I would at least. I don't know. I don't know. You want to be the guy that can be taken out by just a sprained ankle? You know, a lot of people can be taken out. You know, you know what? You know, in, in, in Achilles' defense, most people can be taken out by a sprained ankle. Okay. The difference is, he can only be taken out by a sprained ankle, whereas other people can also be taken out by beheading, uh, arrow through the chest. I would be arg- I, I, I want to argue that most people won't die from a sprained ankle. No, but the arrow is poison. The arrow that killed him was poisoned. That's the difference. Yes. 
if he had just sprained his ankle, he'd be like, oh no, I need to be off my leg for a couple days. Bye, Agamemnon. Really don't care about your war. Peace. <laughs> nope. They don't listen to me when I tell them not to give me sounds of obnoxious levels. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that he might have, if he had done so, uh, our friend Patroclus would still be dead, but at least Achilles might not be. Uh, and uh, Greece would have been uh, better? They would definitely have more gauges. Oh no! The chances are, if Achilles survived, you would have, I don't know, revenged against the entire empire for killing his uh, boyfriend. I mean, he did that, yeah. <laughs> It just wasn't an empire. It was a. Uh... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. His roommate and best friend. And they were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they were roommates. Because they were just friends. <laughs> I like that the, the cover up is like, no, they were just friends. And then like when you actually read the stories, like actually they were kind of like suspiciously friendly. Like 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 you know how men sleep together when they're really good friends yeah these guys were suspiciously sleepy together -y. like it was weird they kept doing it they never got a girlfriend or fell in love with a woman like, like every night achilles was like more unsavory translation of that <laughs> they fuck it <laughs> they gay <laughs> it's like that it's like that sonic picture i saw the other day it's just like sonic is like hey these bitches gay good for them good for them <laughs> Why are you gay? Also, I'm putting this like yes, that was a swearing. So I was happy to say that because that meme was so godlike. <laughs> <laughs> like support of Sonic as one of my favorite meme templates. He's just like, <laughs> I say support of Sonic. I think it's more like ally Sonic because there's also like, <laughs> turf is a term invented to silence you. I wish it friggin' worked and you. Sh <laughs> So good. What are your opinions on the homophobic dog? Oh, I think that that's that was like weird because like the, the dog himself was kind of like you know. Oh, did I miss it? No, no. I think the dog himself was like you know it's a con like. I don't think the dog is actually homophobic. I think it's just the original. It's the meme. Use, yeah, the original use of the meme was was that he was, and then people started just randomly using it as not homophobic and I stand that like definitely that's like literally immediate reclamation of a meme uh, and uh, we're here for it <laughs> that's the thing most of the homophobic dog memes were made, were made by the community <laughs> exactly like the only ones I've seen was like oh, look he's he's not homophobic anymore hooray and I was like what <laughs> what or like, like someone saying something really weird and it's just a homophobic dog is in, in the comments like, mm, you're one of them, huh? <laughs> yeah, as far as I can tell, a good, later on, at least, as far as I know, uh, a, a good portion of them were uh, from the LGBTQ community. Good. I'm here for that too. That's good. I like that a lot. It's, it's what the gays are built on. Self-deprecation and humor. You right, though. Okay, give me the 150 so I can come back crawling to you tomorrow after my work shift and do this again, okay? Mogek the Marvelous. More like Mogek the Marvelously wasting my time. If you Moogles would just get your <laughs> crap together, then I wouldn't have to go see an old knight to, like, get him to trick you into freaking doing things properly. Y'all, you're like, oh, we want to fix the statue and then they just beat around the bush for 700 years like the statue's not getting any younger uh, I don't have enough time in my lifespan to dink around until you guys finally decide maybe you'll put one rock above another I can move I... to me the, it, it was worth it because that Moogle's uh, tribal mount is one of my favorites is it the, it's the little, um, the little flower. Uh, thing. the dandelion pop. Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. 
I don't hate I, it. I like it because it's one of the more creative ones. Yes, definitely that. It's not just you sitting down on something. It's um, where did I want to go for these lads? To the great work. Doing these tribes, we might, we might as well do Arcasadora. Actually, warriors up to seventy, so we can also do pixies. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, where am I going to another thing? I don't know. I don't want to level this up. Oh, actually, we are doing that currently. Okay, never mind. Uh, your way to booby booby. We need to do train two cavalry, and I haven't done that yet. Uh, yes, we're going down this way. Yo, Sephiroth, get your song out of my travel time. It's stressful for no reason, me dude. So, I looked up the Percy Jackson timeline. Yes. I uh, remember the stories, the crossover stories between the uh, Egyptian and the Greek. Yes, them got the same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they happen at the same time as the Trials of Apollo. Oh, that's interesting. Since they were all written before, I assume they happened during... That's what I thought. I thought they were like directly following the uh, first series. Yeah. But no. Because apparently the uh, King Chronicles happened during the second series. Uh, that makes sense because King Chronicles 2 makes mention that in between 1 and 2 Carter sees Blackjack in New York, which implies that that is, uh, that the first one ended sometime before, uh, the blood, uh, not Blood of Olympus, um, the, the crap. Of no, actually, it would have had to end before, uh, the first, the final book of the first series was... The Last Olympian? Yeah, it would have to end before The Last Olympian so that in between 1 and 2 while they're setting up their magician school The Last Olympian happens and uh, Carter sees Blackjack flying around New York because that's the most likely time that Percy would be flying Blackjack around New York during that fight and then part 2, like uh, the second one which was not the Serpent Shadow the um... Throne of uh... Throne of Sand, is it? Fire. Throne of Fire. The Throne of Fire would have to be uh, during the second series at best, because I think, like, what is there, like, two months, three months between uh, series one and two? Red. So, the Red Pyramid and Throne of Fire both happen after the Lost Hero. That doesn't add up. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> this is according to the official timeline. Wow, okay. Rick, did you forget your Easter eggs? What are you doing? On this <laughs> case, I don't think I don't think that Percy makes a habit of going into town on blackjack, so it doesn't It doesn't make sense to me. Unless I just read into the fact that he mentions he saw Pegasus, but like too much. But okay, like... right. Uh, the staff of Stobex, uh, the set of Stobex, staff of Seraphis, and crown of Ptolemy happened just before uh, the next, the uh, trials of Apollo. Right. So after, yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 And just before the new Percy Jackson book that's going to be coming out. Yeah, because that happens. That happens before trials of Apollo, if I recall. So. Yes. So the next book is the one I'm really excited about. Uh, the Sun and the Stars? Yeah. Yeah, boy. No, that sounds amazing, actually. I, mm. I'm i just going <laughs> to read all of them anyway. So. <laughs> well, yeah. But people are already theorizing what could happen based on the cover. 
Oh, I don't want to hurt, but I don't want to hurt. You know what I mean? Like, those two, man, they're just so perfect for each other in that they're, they're like... Yeah. Like, please don't kill... Like, I know they're not going to be broken up. Rick's not one of those people who just, like, goes looking for random drama. Oh, you know what? I could have said that before uh, he broke up two of the power couples from part... From phase two. I'm watching you, Rick. I know what you did. You know what you did. Well, yeah, but let's be honest. Oh, fudge. You, Jason, and Piper oh, really work no, together. I am carrying a, <laughs> as a couple. No, see, that's not that's power. Actually, he didn't break. He, that's the only one he broke up because power couple number two was my personal favorite. My OTP, if you will, in the form of Hazel and Frank and Calypso. Actually, no, because I don't think Hazel and Frank are actually broken up, are they? No, they're not. No, I was referring to uh, Leo and Calypso. But they were just like having a rough time getting along, but they weren't broken up, broken up. So. No, they're back together by the end of the second book, I believe. Yeah. So when you see them. <laughs> oh God, Leo! What a Chad! I love that kid. Uh. Calypso was like one of my favorite stories too from that from that story. So like. Uh... Oh yeah, no, I love yeah, it. So, I get him. All right, craft these lads now. Dude, what do we know about Chalice of the Gods? He's going to try and get his uh. Music here sounds very nice. Okay, I've never done this dungeon before. And I'm tend I I tend to forget Dragon's Eyes, so oh hi. Uh so hey, this is a lore drop dungeon. Okay, it shouldn't be in here, beast is going free. Okay, there's more. Okay, and gendered Hold on a second. Tank stance? Is that you? <laughs> Monks. Uh you are White mage. Yeah, I can go grab another. <laughs> I, I bet he appreciates that you look first. I really appreciate it. Oh no, that didn't. I'm hesitant on skull on getting two two like two groups with scholars. Uh, do I give the dragon side give all DPS up or is it just? I know, it's just the one you're linked to. No, I mean, like, is it physical or is it magic as well? I think it's physical. Okay, okay. Hence why I gave it to you. Alright, can I get a guess? Skull Girl up in here. Everybody gets a bit of the, the, the buff. Let's do some jumping. Some diving. Some of this. I've decided that once I finish Octopath Traveler, I will be purchasing Theatrics and Great Final Fantasy Final Bar Line. Because my other choice was Octopath Traveler 2, and Void has made that choice very easy. Since we're eventually going to stream that anyway, instead, so. In in danger. There's a lot of Digimon here. Yeah, and Josh and me, me or Void immediately. Regretted that when he realized that you wouldn't play it until it was streamed. Sorry, boy, it's a first time for you to die. Yeah, poor guy. Oh well, too bad. I mean, I guess he could always change his submission, but I don't think he knew what he wanted. Never mind, we're fighting. Okay. <laughs> also, the fact that it's going to take you forever to finish that game. I didn't realize, but I have 90 hours clocked into the original Octopath. 90 hours. And I'm Which would mean... That, that would be the equivalent of at least 30 streams. Yeah, so there's no telling how much of that is me like leaving the game open or just, like, whatever. Yeah. But like during a stream, yeah, that's a lot of streams. I'm not against it. Like it's a, it's probably gonna be com comparable to the entirety of the Dragon Age series come come the end of it. So, uh -huh. so 
so we're gonna make the subbies happy. <laughs> well. Engendered, not endangered. I love that attack. It looks like what Meat Pog does during the fight. I don't know what directionals are. What are you saying, game? Uh, let's go the buff again. You have a weird allergy to both directionals and aliens. <laughs> yes. That's not weird. It's just press button. Don't want to have to think fast. Honestly, I couldn't imagine trying to do like directionals during a, a savage raid or something. It would. It wouldn't make sense to me. Uh, that's why stuff like True North existed, but I don't think it does anymore. Uh, I do have True North. Okay. It's just that they don't... They're probably going to eliminate it at some point, because they're reducing how many directionals exist. Yeah. Well. Plus, there's the amount of bosses that you don't really need to worry about directionals with. Yeah, exactly. Like, the big boys with no, like, they don't ever turn away. Zodiac's one of them. Someone already made the yep. jump, what the heck? Oh boy. GLaDOS luck. Bada. Dada. Oh. Maybe you wouldn't have been up on this game. Yeah. I need a big boy, give me a big boy, I want a big no, boy. Swipe on the way, no, no swipe on the way. Back, cool. Uh, use my actual boost attack. So. Oh, guys. There are two of them, oh boy, Doliotis. If there's a third one, I will actually guess them. It's not worth my guess, but in the strong, actually, it's not worth my guess. I should have known that he was not gonna die. Because, okay, he's there, so I'm gonna not stand where he's in front of. I think that's the proper move. Oh, Pyrus, you're a genius. One of my friends from another server uh, made me laugh a little bit. Oh, that's me. Uh, nope. Do I have? I don't have. Bang. Made me laugh a little bit because they're like, like I commented. Okay, so story time. Short story time. Uh, you may be aware of who the uh, YouTuber slash Twitch streamer Joe Cat is. Oh, I cool. am, in fact, aware of the YouTuber slash streamer Joe Cat. <laughs> yeah. So, like, Joe Cat, uh, at some point on the tweet tour, asked uh, people to suggest YouTubers who like to do like video essays on. Uh, Video games specifically, but any video uh, video essay that would consider good, right? So, uh, uh, and I, uh, I had just recently been suggested a video essay from uh, a YouTuber called Honeybat, uh, who I, I think it was actually a really, really nice way of like this person had to do these video essays because instead of like they, like there were video essays on like games we're kind of familiar with, so and some that were not. Uh, the first one I listened to was a video essay on, uh, 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 it was regarding Bloodborne, and how the central theme is, can be attributed to uh, a menstrual cycle, or femininity in general. Now I hear you saying, folks, what? Bloodborne and femininity? Less crazy than that. Oh, oh, it is. That does not make it any less unhinged. And yet, it was so solid. Because once it you... It still doesn't make it any less unhinged. <laughs> it was so cool, because, like, everybody looks at Bloodborne as a story of, like, focusing on the aspects that come from Lovecraftian lore, right? Everybody who does a video essay on Bloodborne usually goes around telling you how, uh, oh, well, there's all this lore behind it, and it's all, like, it's very Lovecraftian, and here's the, um... The inspiration behind it, right? Most video essays regarding Bloodborne are, are do that, do that, and with no disrespect to them, they're all very right. 
and it's all very interesting and that's what makes bloodborne such a powerful entry into the the from software game collection but this person decided to opt out of that by going hey like everyone's done it and if i do it it's just going to be adding onto the pile and you're not really i don't feel like i'm doing something new i want to do something new so they like they're like so instead we're gonna we're gonna look at it from this perspective of something that i feel particularly uh, engaged in, in being able to speak about because they are a they are a woman uh, they identify as such to my understanding uh, and um, uh, and they said like yeah yeah so if you look at Bloodborne it's very uncomfortable to look at, at at it from this perspective because no matter what society you're in menstruation and and that form of like femininity remains quite a taboo subject. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're like, but like, that's part of what fits it so well into Bloodborne storytelling because every aspect of femininity that could be presented through menstruation uh, is considered like either holy or unholy in Bloodborne via like the themes they use. So Bloodborne is far and beyond very much leaning into, uh, while they're doing Eldritch Horror, the main, ent the main monstrosities you usually fight present as werewolves. They never use the word werewolf, of course, but they are men turned to beasts by blood craze, or uh, the word they use is over-reliance on the healing blood of the in-game church, right? Uh, which makes them bloodthirsty, and eventually they just kind of lose it and turn into wolf-like beings. Uh, but she pointed out something very interesting in the form of, like, most of the enemies, if not all of them, that you fight that are beasts with oh it's most of them except for some very interesting exceptions all are mask presenting <laughs> uh, and she's like well that's an interesting concept and we I don't quite remember how deep she delved into it but she did point out that some of the only NPCs and uh, some of the most important NPCs oh hey some of the only important NPCs in the game all present uh, are all femme presenting, if not just straight up women. Uh, and the only one I would exclude from being a straight up woman is the doll, because that's not a human and has no genitals and does not ever give you her pronouns. So, <laughs> without getting into like ridiculous hair splitting, I'm pretty sure the doll is a bay, if not. Because the, except for the creator, whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, so like, that's the only character. That, so there's the doll that gives you your powers and potentially uh, get, like levels you up. Potentially takes care of you when you become an elder god in the game's true ending. Uh, there's the prostitute who gives birth to an elder god completely by accident. Uh, there is the uh, the doctor who attempts to become a god herself. No, he gets killed by something, and then uh, by an imposter who then turns people into aliens in an attempt to create divinity. I say divinity, but it's divinity in the Lovecraftian sense, so it's pretty easy to know what that means. Otherworldedness is more. The mechanics are almost brain dead in this. Huh? What am I meant to be doing? Besides slapping around. Uh, avoiding the tentacles that you only did about half the time. Okay, well, I don't have any ball stacks here, so. Right, so it's like, don't stand in front of where they're raised. I figured that out after the second game, so that's fine. Uh, but it's fine, because if I don't die once, I'm not doing my, um, my job as a kid. I just accidentally did. Oh, hold on. I would like to target this guy. Right, and then um, the focus on blood in Bloodborne was a, a huge part of like the reason why she was like, yeah, it's kind of like unignorable that there is a connection to femininity. Oh no! What happened? I got hit. Uh -oh. The focus on blood, the focus on the moon, the focus on. Uh, Lost children, actually, and the seeking to replace said lost children all point towards very, very undeniable 
aspects of the story. I'm like, I was flabbergasted by how well it was written to. Uh, and then, and then, after listening to that, it's like a 30 minute vid, if I remember correctly. I was like, this was great. What else does she got? You know what else she got? She got a three part video essay on another one of my favorite video game series. That is incredibly philosophical. Can you guess which one, my ball, my friend John? I. My first thought is Fire Emblem. Uh, no, not like try even more philosophical. Like, like, like what Kingdom is Hearts? A, like what is a human philosophical? Was the aspect that she was like going? Oh. For? <laughs> I have no idea. The second essay that she did in three parts was an, a studying on a study on hum, humanity using the alchemy's point of view to what makes a human body following the near series that's right liam it's dragon guard it's near oh, no. and it's near automata and it was fantastic like you delve deep into some philosophy when you're playing the Nier and Drakengard series, but like the way that she um, presented it was absolutely godlike. Like, she started with, I believe it was Nier Replicant. Um, uh, and like, the alchemical comp composition of a human uh, is soul, spirit, and body, right? Uh, and then those, yes. are, those are represented by alchemical elements. Uh, so she, she, she said it's well known, and I did not know this, uh, it is well known that each of the, the installments in Nier, uh, in the Nier series, the trilogy, if you will, Rampart and Nebula for the future, okay. Who's... Oh, it's the healer talking to you, I thought you were the healer for a second there. Yes, I, I, I tend to forget about <laughs> mitigation. Me too. But at least you're doing so. So, um... So, as they were, uh... uh apparently, it is well known that Yoko Taro purposefully made each series, or each installment in the series, focus on uh, exactly that one part of the alchemical study of humanity. Uh, so, going from, I believe it is... The spirit in the Dragon Guard series, uh, the soul in uh, in Nier, I think, and the body in Nier Automata. I might be getting some of those mixed up, but the, the, the importance I want I want people to listen to this, this, this YouTuber honestly because it's fantastic. If you like video essays on video games I I, I I can I'd be hard pressed to find someone that I like better than that for the way that they presented it it was uh, it was deep in thought it was it wasn't like annoyingly drawn out she has a nice like chuckly personality every now and then she stays on topic but like she'll she'll make a couple jokes and be like very much very much well studied on the on the on the prospect like it's it doesn't feel like um like someone who's doing a thing while reading a synopsis of, 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 of the the video essay it feels like someone who's played these games multiple times to make sure that she's gotten the hang of the, 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 the subject matter, and it's fantastic. So if you got like... Oh yeah, the it, Yeah, it's Quetzalcoatl, right? Yeah. Oh, it's literally called Guardian Force, I'm mad. Looking nice in HD, my girl. My life's energy is in the name of the noble creation. Come forth, Quetzalcoatl. Are you telling me this is a primal? Is that what I meant to understand uh, from this? Kind of? Be kind to me, Quetzal. I was, uh, I liked you in Final Fantasy so I don't like randomly dis me. What did I just tell you? Oh, okay. I have 
fought Romulan or Romulan. Yes, near. Okay, yes, I do remember. Near, near studies. So near replicant slash gestalt studies the um the app like humanity as a body. Be are we supposed to pick those up? Oh, I get it. Okay. I wish I remember which jump. <laughs> Near Replicant does body because every character in Near Replicant, except for the main character, actually even the main character, technically speaking, their body makes them non-human in a way, if you will. I wonder if I should really like be worried about spoilers from getting like screamed in their entirety. I, I think we're gonna need the arms lights. <laughs> Here gone, have a book. I'm not I'm not even looking at the sweat system anymore. Is the healer picking up the orbs? Oh I understand what we're meant to do. Oh, hey, I'm the physical DPS. Let's go. Take that 10%. Oh, I didn't realize I'm the first one who did it. Of course I get a thing. Sorry, not primal primal. Game's over. Baby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you do level 2 tapping? I mean, that was hype. I like that fight. I like a lot of things. Uh, uh, mm. Oh, they're gone. I got the calm. I think I gave him the calm. Oh, well, I got a bounce. I did not get a calm, but that's fine because I am a dipus. Dips. Dipus. I guess we do this. Now I hit him with the speed up. I've been not doing that for a while, so oop. Yay, I can do the side quest that I've been hanging on to for like forever. I think I'll forever be mad at Rick Riordan, Riordan for doing Jason Grace dirty. Oh my god, spoilers for that, but yeah. <laughs> Someone on Twitter was like, That is very, a very, that was a very unspoilers way of saying it. Yes. <laughs> Someone on Twitter was like, when did that happen? <laughs> and like, I was like, did y'all not read the books? And they're like, holy crap, I forgot everything that happened in that book. Don't talk to me, you academic piece of garbage. So I was trying to... I, I found the timeline because I was trying to look up when he died, exactly. Uh, it is in book three. It's time. Like, when the books take place. Ah, yavoy, 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 yes. Which, despite some of the references, I believe is... 
either 2011 or 2013. Despite some of the references? Okay. Oh, I gotta pick him up, actually. Oh, uh... When did Ed Sheeran's Perfect come out? Uh, good question. Was it Perfect, or... Or was it Shape of You? I'm in love with so I know he was referenced in the second book. You know what else they referenced in the second book? At least I see it as a reference to that. Commodes. Who? I know they referenced Hamilton at some point. That was the other thing is, yeah. That has to be at least 2016. God! This game is gonna drive me up the wall. It has already done so. But that's the thing. You can compare each of the books to the first series because we have a clear timeline in the first series. Yeah, it's like a year in between most. Uh, so, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief is 2005. Okay. Uh, sea of Monsters 2006, Summer. The next book, oh, uh, what was it? The Titan's Curse yep. takes place the winter break yes. of the school year following Sea of Monsters. And then the last two books are the subsequent, the two subsequent summers. So two years, yeah. Which leads us to uh, the the last Olympian takes place in summer of two thousand eight. Okay, and then it's not even like five. It's definitely not five years in between the next series. So yeah. No, the Lost Hero and the Son of Poseidon happen approximately subsequently, or like not subsequently. Uh, yeah, simultaneously. Apparently. Yeah, approximately because there is some. There's a bit of overlap, but then you know there's still a bit of time passage after the end of the Lost Hero to when when they get to Camp Jupiter, and the start of the Lost Hero was, I believe, approximately six months after the end of the first series. Yeah, because like in that six months, they're well, that six months they're like when when it starts, they're like, well, Percy's been gone for that much time. Oh, which means it's at least. Okay, it might be a year between the two. Because it's summer in the last, in uh, the Son of Neptune, right? Um, that would make sense to me, yes. So Son of Neptune is a year, which would mean Lost Hero starts a little less than a year uh, before, after the last Olympian. And the events of the Heroes of Olympus take place over about a year and a half. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's a really short amount of time for, like, that many books. Yeah. So if we're saying it starts in 2009, a year and a half, brings us to around 2011. I believe. That, that math adds up, I think. In North Down, the right. Yeah, important dates. Oh. Got it, got it. Ugh, Yulemore, I haven't been here in way too long. Oh, uh, no! Mine is a little bit, uh, off. Is that so, young Jonathan? Okay. Where do I go for this? Is it the buttress? I don't think so. Alright, how about we do go report back to Marley one? Doesn't seven is Sea of Monsters.
2007 is Titan. So oh, okay, sorry. It starts in 2006. I was off by a year for everything. So it's 2012. Uh, no. 2006 is that. 2007 is Sea of Monsters and Titan. 2008 is The Labyrinth. 2009 is The Battle of New York. Gotcha. And then... Where was it? Here it is. Yeah. October 2009 is when Jason Grace disappears from Camp Jupiter. That's the beginning of... That's before the events of The Lost Hero, yeah? Yeah. October 2009. December 14th, 2009 is the date... Percy Jackson goes missing. Two whole months. Man, they've been in limbo. Oh, no, three he's at school. Yeah. Uh, three days later is when uh, the lost hero begins. Oh, he's only been missing for three days? I thought he was missing for, like, months. At the beginning of the lost hero, no. Three days. Huh. No wonder she's so peeved about it. Yep. Look at the giant animals. Uh, April 2010 is when Percy awakens mm -hmm. and begins training with Lupa. Oh, yeah, true. And June 19th is the date that Percy carries Juno across the Little Tiber. That's like a whole six months, yo. Hell yeah. A little. Yeah. Um, it's seven months. Almost a little over seven months uh, from when he disappeared. Yes, you're correct. I just leveled up to level 85 with Dragoon. Very exciting. Yo, we should do Stigma Dreamscape. You up for a Stigma Dreamscape? Sure. Let's make sure I've got my best equipment on. Oh, yes, I have my sexy new scythe. But not the second part of the sexy new scythe. Do stigma dreamscape and then that should be the end of it if it's quick enough, otherwise I'll just call it a stream pretty soon. Been live for about two hours. August yeah. August first is the feast of spa of space. I'm still not hundred percent sure how to actually pronounce that. The feast of space. Uh the Gaia waking up. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. Of the same year. Uh of two thousand ten, yeah. So yeah, the whole of the whole events of the second series take place in about a year and a half. And then, or no, uh, for less than a year, about actually. about under a year. Yep. Jeez. Guy don't mess around. She's like my babies. No. Destructive. My uh, September twenty third, two thousand ten was the final confrontation against the Pockets. Wow. Like, I'm willing to believe that because they train for a while in between book two and three, right? And Or book mm -hmm. one and two. But, like, the blackjack stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we can forgive Rick oh, a, a, a couple inconsistencies. I see Hildebrand on top of the thing, and I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, okay, sure, but I'm more interested in the roll quest. I really should be doing those, actually. <laughs> They're so good. God. He bust a nut. Okay. I can't believe he... Uh, oh, I'm getting... Right. I'm getting fatigue chills. I hate that. Uh, so, from August 1st, uh, the next important date is in January 2011. Specifically, the end of the of January. Uh, January twenty sixth is when Apollo awakens. In two thousand eleven. Yes. Gotcha. Wow. 
and January 13th, 2011 is when Magnus Chase dies. So, simultaneously to the Trials of Apollo, that makes sense, yes. Roughly, but yes. Um... I keep forgetting that the Hidden Oracle is only like four days. <laughs> Just the one book. Yeah. He awakens on the 26th, and uh, the Colossus Neronis attacks on the 29th. Yeah. Wild. Are we using the word awaken? Because I'm pretty sure he just fell out of the sky, and he does definitely remember that, because that's how the books start. It's a six month gap in his memory. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Almost seven, but yeah, I, I, I'm going to say awaken in the bottle, body of Lester. Lester Papadopoulos? Yeah. <laughs> what a name. I was gonna say that, I'm like, that can't be right, and they're like, yeah, that, that's that's right. Yup, it's Papa Dabba Dabba Dabba's. Um, Mjolnir, the quest to find Mjolnir starts on March 15th. Oh, that's like two months after Magnus dies. One month after, no, two months, I'm right. Two months. Uh... Around February 9th is when Apollo, Calypso, and Leo leave Camp Pathway. <sighs> at the beginning of the second book. Oh, jeez. You know what? The, 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 the characterization of Apollo in those novels is... Mmm, so good. So very yeah. good. I shall, should do this as a dragoon. Unless the cue pops. Maelstrom, 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 Maelstrom. Why the heck does it take them a month and a half? They almost two months to get to Indianapolis. I mean, it always it almost took them uh, uh, two weeks to get from like place to place to get the thing that did the thing. Yeah, but they were riding on Festus. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, what's the big blasphemy called? The Great Sins? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. Um, I have to skip this cutscene. That's the wrong... Are we not... Oh my god. Dang it. That's my bad. You forgot to um uncue from it, and now we're gonna get yeah. this the wrist slapped. Um balls, dude. That sucks. Can we actually queue again or they'd be like, oh you, you did the thing? No, we're okay, okay. We're not in trouble for just not answering for it. There you go. Stigma dreamscape. Less than five minutes is pretty neat. Okay. You go to the south tide gate? I think there is a crystal that leads there. Ah, uh, yes. Commode. Commode? Commodus. Yup. No, you're right. you right, <laughs> and you should say it. Oh, Trophonius. Uh, Trophonius is one of the, um... Oracles. oracles yeah. It's the Oracle of the second... E uh, this was one of my favorite, like, one of my favorite parts of the third series. The Oracles? Was each one was a focus, like, there was a different focus for uh, each book. Doing all five of the Greek Oracles. Yeah, there's the Grove of Dodona. Which is the only Oracle not uh, under Apollo's power. Yep, hence why they started with, uh, with that one. Yeah. It's uh, the... Uh, it is uh, Rhea's. Rhea being uh, Zeus's mother, right? Yes. Yeah. The, then the second book was Trifonius. Yep. 
the third one was what's the name of the third book? Ah, uh, the Burning Maze. Our favorite. Oh, that's the one with the word puzzles, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so I thought that was Tropomius, but I suppose not. Nope. Ah, uh, Hero File. Ah. Then the fourth one is. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the Sibylline books. The Sibylline text. Okay, so they're they're not. It's not an actual person. Well, no, they're. It's the last breath of the of the oracle that wrote them. Yeah. And then, but that's the one. Then the fifth one is Delphi, is it? Uh, Pythia, but yes. Wild. Delphi. Because Delphi is the most prominent, the most important, and the most powerful of the four of the five oracles. Yeah, Delphi is the one that Apollo blessed because reasons. Okay. Uh, the fourth oracle is the one that hated Apollo. Yes. Because she's burned his advances, so he granted her eternal uh, eternal life, but not eternal youth. Just gets to age forever. Okay, can this be done in less than 35 seconds? Let's go. What? I picked a fight and they won't let me change my class. Let's go, Stigma Dreamscape. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do in this game. I forgot that that's how Loki was defeated. Did he get power of friendship? Um, he got trapped in a walnut. <laughs> I also forgot that. <laughs> oh, this is the Omicron dungeon. Yes, good. Stigma Dreamscape. I don't remember the story that led me here. It was really short because most dungeon stories are, but. Ah, uh, it's the Omicron. Yeah, there was like, there's a malfunction. Oh, right, it, it is. There's a malfunction in one of the, the combat generator thingies, right? And. Yep. We were getting tossed into a VR that could very well get us killed. But in doing so, we get to not die. We get to stop it, we get to distract it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Welcome to the Omicron Star. This is what it looked like. Very tech. What? We're you don't say that! Stigma 4 and I was out That's the, the AI that pulled out that good stuff. It looks so nice. It looks so different when you upgrade it, though. I don't know how to feel about that. Is there a bunch of annoying quests to do to get the next Manderville weapon, or is it just like quests like the previous one, get X thing, use Tone Tone, and stuff? It, it's that, but you have to finish the next set of uh, Manderville quests. Yes, I did notice that. So I know They're it looks like they're tying the uh, weapon directly to the quests now. This is fine. Like for this it means less set. work, like, less grindy work, I guess. I think that's what they're, they're trying to see the... Because I guess the people were still complaining about how much grinding you had to do to get the previous weapons. Shadowbringers? I don't, I don't know. I don't think I got those, so I wouldn't know. It's very grindy. Oh, yes, it's... I know how to... it's from the... Bajra. Yeah, Bajra. You don't have to do Bajra to get it, 
but Bosja makes it faster. Well, you need to do some. You need to at least enter Bosja because otherwise Geralt doesn't give you the side quest. Like you, you do Bosja at least once, and then they're like, "Cool, now you get the thing." You can mm -hmm. start like talking to Geralt. Oh, where the end is. Those are just idiots. Tiny behemoth, but arguable. Oh, Edda is another type of Omicron star, star person. Gotcha. Reach alphabet. Yep. Omicron is... Whatever position they're oh. at, these guys are another one. First boss? Yep. Stigma 4 detected. That is Proto Omega. <laughs> I was just about to say I've seen that model before. I can. Oh, get behind him. Hey, I'm behind him. Nice time. Pushes aside after getting good. Only if you're in range of the uh, stack. Which you know you should do. Y yes. But you could potentially not be. In which case, we all go here. I can't blow up, I just. Electric slow. Oh, cool. I accidentally backed out. I'm sorry. So whoever took that mustard bomb. Oh, that's a little bit. The Geneva Conventions entered the chat. The Geneva Convention from weeks wide. Got a vault stack from that. Get bent, yeah. That's what I think about your vault stacks. What's in the box? Bending. Next memory. It worked fast enough. Gordona? Don't you mean Mordona? Subjugation of Gordona. Great. They're gonna invade another world. Yep. A world of mechs. Wasn't this one more guarded? I am sure, buddy. Oh, they see me rolling the head. This one was not bad, really. Oh my gosh. Lambda Invader? Aren't these guys literally the same model as the Gordon Knights? No. Oh look, they got wheel butts. Ooh, I'm yawning. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. the last thing tonight. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we'll have securely surpassed the two hour time mark requested by the sponsorship. I will happily have beaten some Final Fantasy stuff. It will have been a productive stream, even though I did not do any of my official places. 
I guess it's a drone jack too, but I feel like I don't want to do that during this monster spin. That person's name is Ruinous. That's... I guess that's a little bit clever. <laughs> Yourself. Yeah. Are you getting angry at yourself for yawning? What's that? Are you getting angry at yourself for yawning? Yeah, somewhat. <laughs> the month of June is going to be pretty lit this year, I think. Because I tried to take vacation days off when my child was out of daycare. Uh, as it turns out, it's not an option. Because I have the least amount of seniority. Therefore, the lowest priority on vacation days in my department. Uh, and unfortunately for myself, uh, it means that um, everyone tries to take that week off, those weeks off. But that happens to be the, 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 the days in the week where, you know, most places are actually on. It's called a construction week here. Ah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so, like, everyone in construction's off, everyone who happens to have a child in daycare, the, the, the daycare's closed. So I'm like, well, I kind of need that, that off, because I don't know if I have a babysitter, my boss is like, eh, you're gonna have to look, uh, because I can't pull strings. You didn't input the request officially on time in any way. I, I didn't, because I knew it didn't change anything for me. Oh, no, it's gonna be one of those things. Okay. Hey, what do you mean? I don't want to hold it! what? Ow! Lala hole! Oh, lala hole, yes. Good. There's always this one little tiny spot in the middle. Yep. That just barely doesn't get hit by any of the lines. Very good. So yeah, I'm like, but like, it, my boss showed me the, the, the schedules of people who requested time off, and as it happens, no one's asked for any time off in June. Ow. So I was like, that's pretty lit, my birthday's in June. He's like, yeah, you can take it off if you, if you have the, if you want. I'm like, oh, neato, burrito. But now I'm realizing that like seven days before my birthday, Etrian Odyssey collection comes out. Oh, and I'm supposed to stream that. I don't know how I would have been able to do that with a class that has no dash. Arc landing? Okay. You start moving before he's finished, uh rolling mm. you just do it safely oh i mean you need to know where he's going man. with cheap telegraphs you're right i didn't know healer stuff the dragon star oh you bastards <laughs> we told you you would like this one wait but they didn't fight oh they did of course omega destroyed it yeah Oh no, what is the last cost gonna be in this dungeon? Oh, that one should be fairly easy to guess. Well, it should be the Stigma, Stigma 4, I guess. Yes. <laughs> I don't have a problem with confirming that because it's, they've made that very clear. The quest is all about it. Now, that means we're not gonna find any drag. Well, 
two, one. Oh, never mind, I take it back. What? Adapt so the Omicons didn't just uh, take over places and destroy them. No, they, they're, the, they're the board. Yes. Huh. Huh. And this is, besides, apparently this is where the, like, they just said that this is where Stigma learned how to adaptive, how to evolve adaptively, which is something the Omicron didn't know about then, apparently, but okay. That means that this is where they got the design for Omega during the, that's wild. Like, that implies that while we fought Proto Omega as the first boss, it wasn't complete yet, and when they got here, they dis they decided to implement the capacity to adapt and overcome from what they learned from the dragons, out of necessity for conquering? Yep. Man, I love dragons. Man, I hate the Omicron. Do you see it? Like a frame. Is that a dragon inside? Oh no, it's just a frame. Do I see what? Were we supposed to see Midgar Song or somewhere? That wouldn't make sense. No, it was the uh, Omega frame. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But the design. Uh, it's. Yeah. That's the Omega design we see. Like that. Our Omega hat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The beetle, the beetle shape, yeah. It's a lot more compact, but also the Omega that we fought has the capacity to change its dimensions pretty easily. So. It can turn into a human. Yeah, I don't think it could at this point. Uh, I think it started doing that once it no. study does. Yes. This, however, does not explain to me how the Omega has interdimension travel. Available. That part doesn't make sense. But it does. Uh, what do you mean infinite dimension? I mean, um, the thing it does to access the other Final Fantasy games. I want the copper open the copper. Logically speaking, it's a giant eyeball. Oh, no. Those could just be other stars. I mean, that the yeah. Omicron have potentially taken over slash destroyed. They could. I don't think it is. Siege Matrix. That's a title. This boss is a little bit fun. I'm expecting you do have to pay attention to your surroundings. I'm this expecting fight. it to summon stuff. Okay, you go in. Yes. Oh no. I like it when the ground shines. Uh, call me. This is fine. I take it. How do you already have? Fists. I don't think the only problem with that can be. That's an out. Oh, I wasn't out enough. Based on the shape, I guess? Yeah. I got out just in time. Mm -hmm. Like really, next with that. That was like, it's funny that it does that basically. 
Like it's very similar to Midgar Soul Man. I don't like the word mine hacks here. Removal destruction of post hostile items. Oh, I went the wrong way. Wow. Me too. Hey, relax. Multi edge is the best in the arm. I'm thinking in French right now, that's how tired I am. Oh, is that not your first language? You know you think, but I don't do a lot of thinking in French either. It, it, it's still, when you are when you get tired, you go to default. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm a fool. Oh, you know what, fine, how about this? Multi AI take over this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Very nice. Oh, I didn't realize that I'm at level 90 on my uh, Wonder Sales. That's nice. Oh, yes. What'd you think? That was a fun thing. Yeah, I like the, lo the, the, the dungeons like correspond to lore drops. It's very fun. I like seeing Doragons. I don't like uh, this. The we'll also allow you, should you ever get a uh, gatherer up to level 81, uh, this was the dungeon you had to complete to unlock the Omicron describe. Oh, I'm definitely going to do that at one point, because like, I'm going to run out of battle classes to level up soon. <laughs> then you'll finally start doing a uh, some gathering and crafting again. Well, I've been doing a uh, weaver to get the... Um... The, the noodles up, tribes. right? So I'm gonna have to do yeah. uh, the next one soon. The Namazu. That's 60 to 70. Yeah, we're set. The Namazu are an excellent way to do gathering our crafting from the, those levels. But also do your custom deliveries. That's just experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm at level 63 with my Weaver, I think. So I'm thinking yeah. probably the Namas are going to level up not to get 70. Oh, more. Should be more than that, because they end at 70, so. Oh no, we've killed him. Like, you should, by the time you get to the Lockrits for crafting, mm -hmm. you should be within range to be able, you should be able to do them with your Weaver. Good. Easily. The... These guys are crafters or gatherers? I forget. Who? The Omicron. Uh, gathering. Hmm. I like the beast tribe. Isn't it like, there you go, the cafe, cafe shop? <laughs> yes. That's funny. Uh, the Omicron is basically about turning Ultima Thule into its own s star. That's wild. That's wild. This is where like, everything goes to die, bro. Where everything die, what that's died goes, and they're like, here. 
make well, it a that's real place. Hey, Ultima Thule was made out of dynamis. Right? It's made of dynamis. Yeah, all emotional energy, yep. Which means because of how we interacted with them, they're starting to feel their own emotions again. Oh, yes, it's the only place the Omicron could actually learn to develop that way. Yeah, okay. But it means they're like all of the beings that exist in Ultima Thule are able to develop dynamis or like potentially manipulate dynamis. Mm hmm. Which means Whack. they can potentially just... They don't need uh, Medion to continue to exist. That's correct, because that's how we beat Medion. Medion tried to unexist us, and we said, how about no? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna deafen. Okay. Uh, that concludes tonight's stream of... Um... Game of Empires coupled with Final Fantasy XIV, fill in the, the blanks. Uh, I hope you folks enjoyed what you saw tonight. If you did, please consider clicking on the link when you type in clicking the blapo, G O E, using your mobile device to download the, the Game of Empires and help me out in my sponsorship goal. We are one away apparently from getting all the, the next milestone to Feudal Era, and we can get four more people to do the Iron Age, and we'll, uh, it's even better. We get even more stuff. So if we get. A total of five more people getting to the feudal era. We're at the next total goal, uh, which is great for me. Uh, it helps me convince Stream Elements that I'm worth sponsoring more often than not. So that's exciting. Uh, and then this ha this is until Sunday, um, Sunday night, Monday morning, like early, early in the morning, Monday like 1 a.m. Uh, you folks can help me out by doing that and doing that. That's the deadline after which they decide that the campaign is over and they are going to pay me what I've collected. So. Uh, there will be more to come. I have a sponsorship lined up, apparently. I don't know if it expires by then, but so far, Stream Elements has offered me another sponsorship come next week, once this one's done. So I'm hoping to do that as well. It'll probably be another mobile game. Uh, there's a reason I only take mobile games. Most people, it's, it's free for you guys. So you can just download a game and enjoy it for like one of, one of two hours or more if you enjoy the game. And then, for me, it's easy to just suggest that to people and be like, hey, click the link, you know what to do, do the thing. Uh, everybody's got a phone. Uh, unlike stuff like Factory 75 or HelloFresh, which requires you to dish out about $100 minus discount uh, to even help me out once. So while I don't think that's awful, I think that it's easier for me to do uh, mobile games because, one, they tend to be available in both Canada and the States. Two, uh, they don't require you to shell out money. And three, they're shorter uh, with less complexity to them. Uh, the... The trade-off, I wouldn't say downside, is that we need to stream them during actual game time. So, uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say tonight. Please have a good night, folks. I will not be back until Monday evening, I believe. Uh, Monday morning or Monday evening, I don't remember. Uh, but I hope you have a fantastic evening. I love you, folks. We will see each other in the near future. Peace with Jack 3. We're starting Jack 3 next week.